The insert angular dimension command lets you insert a dimension that measures the angle between two lines, the angles between many lines if they radiate from a common point, or the angle swept by an arc. Select the command and the prompt tells you to select the position of the dimension or the arc or first line to dimension. To insert an angle of dimension between two lines, select one of the lines. Make sure you select it away from where the two lines meet. The prompt now tells you to locate the second line to dimension. When you select the second line, again towards the end away from where they meet, an elastic dimension is attached to your crosshair and you can drag the dimension into position. Click your left mouse button to insert it. The prompt again tells you to select the position of the dimension or the arc or first line to dimension. So you can continue inserting dimensions if you want to. Depending on where you drag the dimension, it can display the internal or external angle. An angular dimension can also be inserted between two lines that don't meet. If there are a number of lines radiating from a common point, their angles can be quickly dimensioned. In this case, you select where you want the dimension text to appear first. The prompt now tells you to select the origin angular dimension. Snap to the point where the lines meet using the snapping square. The prompt now tells you to select the position to dimension. Snap to the end of the first line. An elastic dimension appears on your crosshair and you simply snap to the ends of the lines to insert the dimensions. Right click to insert the dimensions. The angle swept by an arc can also be easily measured by simply selecting the arc and dragging the dimension into position. Right click to stop inserting angular dimensions. That completes this tutorial.